In this video, we are going to learn how to add and subtract monomials. The rule for adding and subtracting monomials is that you have to keep similar terms together. Here's an example. We have two apples plus three apples plus three strawberries. We could say we have two plus three plus three equals eight pieces of fruit. But what if we want to keep it clear how many apples we have and how many strawberries we have? We will say two apples plus three apples equals five apples. And the three strawberries remain expressed as three strawberries. Now it's clear. The similar terms, apples, have been combined, and the dissimilar term, the strawberries, has been kept separate. This is what we do in polynomials. But usually, instead of pictures of apples and strawberries, we have variables and exponents. We have to know that x squared is not similar to x cubed. x squared is not similar to y squared. They are as different as apples and strawberries. In this example, we have 3x squared minus x squared plus 5x squared minus y cubed. There are two types of term here. We have three different terms that have x squared, and we only have one term with y cubed. Let's combine our x squared terms. 3x squared minus x squared is equal to 2x squared, plus another 5x squared is equal to 7x squared in our answer. The dissimilar term, the minus y cubed, is kept separate. And this is our final answer. In example 3, it says 8x squared plus x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2y squared. This time we have three different types of term. We have 8x squared of minus 5x squared. We have only one x cubed term, and we only have one y squared term. Let's combine our x squared terms. 8x squared minus 5x squared is equal to 3x squared. The plus x cubed is kept separate, and the minus 2y squared is also kept separate. Our final answer, 3x squared plus x cubed minus 2y squared. This is how you add and subtract monomials in a high school polynomials course. 